Well, hello there, my beautiful kings and queens. How y'all doing out there? Bless! You better know, you better believe it, and you sure enough better live it. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. <clears throat> I didn't have my tea this morning. Mind your business. Please and thank you. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <clears throat> yeah, they got me out here in the direct. You know what? I'm going to go inside and I'm going to put my foot down. And I'm going to work. But anyway, mind your business on a more serious note. Um, <clears throat> out on my drive today, <clears throat> I was thinking, actually I was thinking before I even started driving. About how... Fear and worry, anxiety, depression has been loosed. I mean, it has always been around, but now it is on the rise because of recent things that have taken place. I'm talking cold here. If you know, you know. If you don't pray about it. Um, but here's what I was reminded. And I pray that this reminds you too. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay. Um, mighty through God, pulling down the strongholds. Go read it. Um, study it. Apply it. Don't put it here only, but put it in here. And let it come through here. Um, and we have to remember. One, God's track record. Two, remember how our ancestors fought with less. The mighty victories that, that they have won. And the battles are not always the same. But the mindset is. The mindset is when fight the good fight of faith go in knowing victory is yours and when God is with you who can stand against you let's not disappoint our ancestors let's not let the things that they have fought for be in vain. Let's come out of the fleshly thinking. Rise up in the spiritual things. And also, I've been thinking for the past few days, and as I was thinking about this today too, technology. Don't be so hooked into technology that you forget to be hooked into the, the spiritual things. Now is not the time to fold, to give up, to think it's all over. Remember, there was a time when the devil thought it was over. And then look what happened. So, pull back from some things, regroup, rethink, strategize. Okay, this has happened, so what's the next move? Are we playing chess or checkers? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. On yesterday, I told someone, when you get dressed, don't forget to get dressed. If you know, you know. We know how to pray. We must always seek the will of God, pray the will of God, pray the word of God as it is applicable to said situations. We know if the enemy comes this way, 
then we know how to pray and we know how to fight the good fight of faith. As I said on yesterday, the devil can't win if you don't quit. Now is not the time to concede. No. Now is the time to rise up and say what's next. Okay? Every day that God gives us is an opportunity and a chance and a reminder one that he is not done yet. He's not through with us yet and there's more for us to do. So let's regroup. Pull ourselves together. Blow your nose. Wipe the snot. Wipe them tears. And figure out what's next. You know how to pray. Everything that you ever wanted from God, you knew how to pray for it. And if you're saying, well, we pray for this and this still happen. Okay. Then that's not the route God wanted to go. The thing that you was praying, the way you was praying. God has another, another plan, another purpose, another reason. So let's align ourselves with God. God, not my will, but your will be done. What shall I do now? How shall I pray? I was speaking to someone yesterday. Even the disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Okay, God, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So, what's the plan, God? Where do I fit in this? And what is my purpose in this? And what is it that you want me to do in this? This is not the first time something didn't turn out the way you prayed for it to turn out. And it won't be the last. So you just keep moving. You keep trusting God. Let the lift of your head lift your head today. And know that victory is yours. Victory is ours. Man can say what he want to say. He can plan what he want to plan. He can plot what he want to plot. But God has the final say. And it's not over yet. It's different. So we have to accept that it's different and move on from there. Okay. There's always a way out. Always. So I hope that reminds you to put on your whole armor to... Remember that your weapons are not carnal. And if your enemy is fighting you with weapons that are not carnal, you cannot go into that battle with fleshly weapons. Amen. So, okay. If you feel like you got knocked down, get up. Try again. But this time... I love when the scriptures talk about how David sought the Lord before he went into battle. And whenever God said, go, victory is already given to him. Sometimes God sit back and he laugh at, it, at our enemies, his enemies, when they be like, when they think, oh, <laughs> I won. And he sit back and laugh, oh, foolish. It looks like you have. But wait till you see what I have in store. Come on, people of God. Do not lay down. Do not lay down your weapons. Do not lay down in defeat. Victory is ours. Anyway. I love you. And God loves you best. Have a powerful day. Walk in God's supernatural power. Remember he has given you authority to tread on scorpions and serpents and all for all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall harm you. Okay. Have a good one.